the rest of the guys on the team and just have a successful pro day. You mentioned you know, just a minute ago that your 40 time wasn't really what you wanted it to be. What were you shooting for and I guess reaction from, from some of the to, to the four six? I wanted to hit four five, high four four or four five, it don't matter. Uh, that was something that I you know the goal I set for myself, but I'm happy with running the four six or whatever time it was, like I said, you know, I'm blessed to be able to be in this position and at the end of the day, you know, a coach a coach from a national football team gonna want a guy with great character, great work that work ethic. And, you know, my film is my resume, so I feel like, you know, that'll be the decision that a team has to make on, you know, drafting. Mac, have you had time to reflect on your time here and what are you gonna miss about Tuscaloosa Aldo? Uh, what I'm gonna miss most is the guys on the team. I feel like that's a relationship that I created with them, long little brotherhood and you know, Henry Rose was like my little brother, somebody, you know, I helped. You know, throughout his process, y'all gonna miss him and just the guys on the team as a whole and the coaches, just the relationship we built, all the moments and stuff we had throughout my career. That's what I miss the most. How do you feel like Coach Saban, especially on your side of the ball, has helped you prepare for the next level? Uh, he's helped me prepare tremendously. I feel like uh, you can ask anybody else on this team. Coach Saban is a guy who's all about life, and he's going, you know, try to work you as hard as he can to get to the next level. And I feel like he did a great job with that. So. You know, Coach Saban is probably one of the best coaches ever to live on this earth, and I feel like he's going to continue to do it as a coach. How important were the in the combine? Did, what, did you have a goal or something, you know, you specifically wanted to prove here today? Today? I wanted to run a fast 40 and jump a little high on my vertical, but I hurt my hamstring when I was down there. So I wanted my scores to be a little better, but they did. I averted like a 32 down there and brought it like a 9-9. I averted 33 here and brought it 10-1. I feel like those things increase, you know, perhaps that my hamstring was hurting down there. Like I said, I just wanted to run a fast 40. And, I mean, I, I'm happy with what I ran. You know, like I said, I'm blessed. I'm happy to be here. I'm just ready to see what's next. Man, how important were the positional drills for you to, to kind of show your fluidity at, at that spot? Uh, that was important. That was something that, you know, every team I met with, I told them, you know, I feel like I'm the most versatile versatile linebacker in this draft. And, you know, I can flip my hips, I can cover, I can do whatever. And, I wanted to be able to show those guys that when you know I did my position drills. Which teams have you met with? I met with like 19, 20 teams at, at the combine, and I met with like five yesterday. I wanted to ask you about um, Dylan taking over the mic now. How do you feel like you know that position will fit him a little bit? Uh, I'm very confident in Dylan. Uh, Dylan is not a, a outspoken person. I feel like you know he had to step out of his comfort zone. Kind of what happened to me when it was my time to take on that leadership role. But, you know, I'm fully confident in him. I feel like he's going to get the job done. He, gonna, he knows what it takes to win. You know, he's an alpha dog now. He's a veteran, so he got to set, set an example for the young guys that's coming in this year. Do you promise to stay on Twitter? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's something I told the scouts, too. I mean, I love the social media. As long as I'm not posting anything negative or anything like that, they say it's no problem. You know, it was just something that they asked because of how much I used to post and things like that. Cool. Leaving this in Pro Day, do you feel like you've done enough to be a first round pick? Uh, no. I mean, I still feel like there's a lot of room for improvement. You know, I didn't have the perfect Pro Day. You know, I didn't, you know, accomplish everything that I wanted to accomplish. But, like I told my parents and my trainers, like, as long as I'm happy, I want y'all to be happy. You know, after I ran my Ford, I saw what I ran. I was happy. Like, I wasn't mad at myself. I wasn't down. I was like, I'm going to finish these drills strong and go on by my day. So I'm just going to continue to work. And, you know, I have workouts coming up in April, hopefully, with different teams. I'm just going to continue to showcase them that, you know, I got the athletic ability. I got all the tools that, you know, I need to be a might line back on the next level. All these are just kind of nice all these are kind of just numbers that are on a chart, but are you happy that you have a whole bunch of really solid game tape of you playing football that they can go back and watch and see exactly how good you are? Of course. I mean, football is football. 40-yard dash is a 40-yard dash. You know, I didn't play football all my life to be a track star or anything like that. So right. I feel like, you know, it's a part of football that some scouts, some teams, some coaches want to see. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you know, it's all about what you put on film. You know, it's your resume. It's something that you're going to have to live by every day when teams ask you about whatever went on in that game. So, like I said, I mean, I'm going to continue to work hard. I'm going to continue to show guys that, you know, I should be the number one inside linebacker off, off the board. All right, thank you.